Our raid on the Nazi radio location post near Havre gave us another example of perfect cooperation between the Navy, infantry, Air Force, and paratroops. Even the ship's dog mascot was prepared for any eventuality. They hadn't got nine life belts to spare for the cat. The action took place at night, so I'm afraid you must be content with pictures of the final preparations for the raid. An attack of the kind under review needs much preliminary work in order that the operations shall be carried out without a hitch. In the actual raid, under cover of darkness, landing craft were lowered from the ships and silently set out for the shore. As newsreel pictures cannot be taken in the dark, the cameraman stayed aboard in order to film the return of the heroic band after the raid. While events of this nature were proceeding at sea and on the beach, there was much activity in another direction. The shock troops of the job on hand were making ready to play their part. So we switched to the paratroops, seen here at one of their training stations, doing just those things they were called upon to do in earnest in the real raid. When the paratroop carrying planes reached their objective, the signal was given and a force of determined British soldiers dropped to earth. By the way, although the Brunval raid has its particular significance, it was by no means a major operation. But we fervently hope that it'll prove to be just a foretaste of other medicine to come. We've been told that we shall hit the Hun wherever he may be found. Well, we know he's on the other side of the channel. And we must hit him good and hard there, just as we all hope to finish him off in Germany. Just as in these pictures, the paratroops in the darkness set out for the radio location post. The destruction was completed, not without opposition from the German guards, but it was completed. And now we come to authentic pictures of the return from the actual raid. The job well done and everybody in excellent spirits, although there are quite a lot of black looks. Black because the raiders had blacked their faces so that the Nazis would be like the chap who looked for a black cat in the coal cellar. A new type of stretcher makes the transport of wounded an easier task for the RAMC men. Of course, there's the matter of prisoners. Our boys grab some and they're having the experience of their lives. They're on their way to a free country, although they'll not be free until the world mess is finally cleaned up. We won't finish our story with shots of Nazis, even though they're out of the war. So let's turn to a much more refreshing picture. Wing Commander Picard who led the planes that dropped the paratroops at their objective. A very gallant gentleman. 